So, uh, my pack took a spill not too long ago, and I got a hole in it right here. So, I'm gonna have to repair it. So, I'm gonna show you how I fix my bags or, you know, mend my gear. And uh, we'll get into it right now. Okay. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna clear my bag out, at least the top. Pull my compass out, fire kit. Yeah. Water filter, first aid kit. It's the top. Unclip this. Get my wet weather gear out of my bag. Put the Gore-Tex to the side so I can see how bad the hole is. And it's not good, it's a lousy location. So let me get my maintenance kit. Okay. Well, this is one of my maintenance kits. This usually goes everywhere with me. So what I'm going to do is let's see. Well, I'm going to look. There we go. Got a round hook. Or actually a round needle, I'm sorry. And I'm using this is a braided spider wire uh, fishing line, 20 pound test. This is a uh, really strong stuff. It works great for um, any type of field repairs you need to do. It also works good for obviously fishing and anything else you're gonna do. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Would be doing this outside, but it's only 14 degrees out and we're waiting for a blizzard to be rolling in, so. And then also a hot glue stick and a pencil sharpener is what I'll be using. And I'll put this all back. <clears throat> and I'm going to get into, going to quickly, uh, Pull off roughly, let's say, say 24 inches or so, maybe a little more. So, I'm gonna, I carry my uh, extra material on a cork because it's dual purpose. It allows me to use it for uh, a bobber. So, works good for that. Ooh. There was a sliding kit. I just hooked that through my pants. Allows me to know where it is. Now I'm just gonna tie this line up. That's probably the biggest uh, bugger about this stuff is tying up the line because it can get very finicky. You can also use dental floss if you need to. This works just as good. Okay. So now I have double backed on it with a knot. And I'm going to proceed to sew this up. And I'll get back to you as soon as it's sewn up, and I'll show you. I'll go from there. So I'm 
almost down at the bottom. Finish it up. It's important to keep a good uh, Make sure you get a good finished off knot at the very ends of both where the rip starts and ends on both ends of it because if you don't get that it's likely that it could just open up on you again and now I'm going to start circling through back on itself to close it off I'm going to do these about three half hitches. Hard to grab hold of it. There we go. Now we're just going to trim it off. Set that to the side. Now, what I do is simply on the inside, I'm going to take pencil sharpener and I'm going to shave off a section of this hot glue. And now I can lay this on the stitching, kind of like a seam seal. A little bit of heat, just to warm it up. stick a little bit now it's packing into the into the stitching Now it's packed in, I can roll off any of the extra that's in there. Now it's closed up nice and tight on that side. So, and there it is, all fixed up. Now if I want, I can go over it on this side too and simply take a little duct tape and what I can do is tear around the edges Rip it down small.
The same thing goes for this side. I gotta lay some hot glue right on the seam. Let it soak right in. And there she go. That's how I get it done. And if you like this, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys again. Thank you.